Fabric have always been consistent. They have serviced all underground music forms of dance music with passion and conviction throughout, even when it's been difficult for them, throughout. Even when you have upstart events coming and trying to sort of work off that, still going, still working really, really well. And that's very rare. It's really, really rare because, you know, there's a few places that still sort of do that, like maybe like Rex in Paris, for example. Um, but other clubs that you may be 20 years and all of a sudden, it's, no, we're not doing this anymore. And then it sort of doesn't work for them. Um, so get rid of heritage at your own risk, really. But the fabric of just being pure, honest, consistent uh, and passionate. I mean, like Judy, she's always fucking there. Always dancing. Like, I don't know any person that works at a club that's just always there, always dancing and doing it from heart. You know, Andy's like always like enthusiastic when he's there. I don't know, you know, like a lot of the people that now uh, run uh, clubs like new, new bookers or whatever, it's like, no mate, I've got to be in the gym at eight. You know, typical millennial vibe is now I've got to be in the gym, I can't do this anymore. Uh, no, I can't talk to him in the gym. And yeah, there's no, there's no connection anymore. Um, or they're going, they're, they'll only sort of come out if there's like a sort of organic meal involved. Um, and they won't talk about music, they'll talk about something completely boring. And, you know, with Fabric, it's always like you'll end up talking about music all the time with these people, and that's why they're still here.